A smile, a sunny dress and a storybook. A picture of a three-year-old girl on the mend. Tanika Murugapan was rushed to Perth Children's Hospital on Monday, evacuated from Christmas Island, suffering a serious infection. Let these people back to below. Her ordeal putting the plight of her family back in the spotlight. For two years they've been out of sight, detained on Christmas Island, fighting deportation to Sri Lanka. There's a regional town in Queensland that wants this family back. The Home Affairs Minister had suggested a new home could be found overseas, comments she's now walking away from. I actually haven't said that I'm investigating resettlement options for that uh, family. On Tuesday, it appeared she did. Does the government not have the discretion to be able to make a decision on this? We are going through the process now of investigating a range of resettlement options in relation to a number of different circumstances. That was backed in by the Foreign Minister. I understand the United States is the first of those and that New Zealand is, uh, is also an option. It turns out they're not. The family isn't currently eligible to be resettled in either country. This family does not have refugee status. Please help us. Their applications have been rejected by the coalition and the courts. But legal action underway is forcing the immigration minister to consider whether the family can apply for other visas. They should be granted visas based upon the ministerial discretion. It's not a case of being mean. I'm not going to have people die trying to come to Australia by sea on my watch. The Morrison government is effectively caught between a rock and a hard place. It doesn't want to back down on its hardline border policies, but at the same time it knows it needs to find an acceptable solution to what's become a years-long legal saga that's left a family of four in limbo. Jane Norman, ABC News, Canberra.